Thursday, July 21st, 1892. A beautiful start to the day until tragedy struck at 7.15 a.m. Two steam trains collided head-on just west of Aaronsville, Ontario, Canada. This film is dedicated to William Christie and Wellington Hardy, who lost their lives that fateful day. The two trains were both owned by the Bay of Quinte railway line. This small but burgeoning company provided a much needed transportation system, bringing supplies into the settlements northwest of Kingston and carrying lumber, minerals and cement out to the growing urban centers of Canada and beyond. Several trains a day would travel through the villages and hamlets of the area. This locomotive was typical of the steam engines pulling passengers, mail and freight carriages from Bannockburn to Kingston. Incidentally, the hand-operated turntable at the Bannockburn end of the railway was later disassembled, moved and was in service until recently on the Wakefield Tourist Railway north of Ottawa. The two trains that collided left Tweed about a half hour apart. The first one, just a work engine with no cars, left at 6 a.m. and had been assigned to haul two gravel cars from a pit near Aaronsville. It made the trip in reverse, since there was no way to conveniently turn around, and arrived at the Aaronsville station in about an hour. The crew of five confirmed their orders and left the station, shown here 125 years later, and backtracked towards the gravel pit, where the plan was to slip back into a siding to allow the other train to pass. Amazingly, the tracks are still visible today. The gravel pit where the train was headed is appearing on the left and is still in use today. The siding would have been roughly where the word pit is on the screen. Meanwhile, the second train started its regular Tweed to Kingston run at 6.25 a.m. The train consisted of another 440 locomotive pulling three freight cars and a combination coach mail car with 20 passengers aboard. It left the Marlbank station at 7.05 a.m., about the same time the first train left Aaronsville. It was a 15-minute run to Aaronsville, the next stop, at about 20 kilometers per hour. The track ran along the shore of White Lake, where the track was is now a private road. It then swung north, pretty much where that garage is coming up, through a cut in a gravel esker and past the gravel pit, where the first train was supposed to be pulled over. As the train made the left curve and through the gravel ridge, the engineer, normally seated on the right of the cab, was likely blind to the danger lying ahead. The force of the collision was so intense, the locomotives ended up on end. William Christie, the engineer of the passenger train, stayed at his station, valiantly trying to brake and lost his life as a result. Wellington Hardy, the fireman on the gravel train, leapt from the cab at the last second and died from his injuries. Numerous others were injured and taken to the nearby Beaver Lake Hotel for medical aid. Whether the two trains had their timings wrong or whether a jammed switch at the siding delayed the gravel train, we will never know.